The Jackery 1000V2 is our go-to power hub, keeping families connected at home and outdoors. Hello everyone, we've got an exciting uh, product review to do today. As you can see here, this is a uh, tiny home and this belongs to Dustin. It's gonna be his editing studio to edit videos. He's been doing it in the garage, but we have no heat out there or air condition. So he wants to have a place that he can have a studio to edit. And Jackery has sent us another one of their 1000 V2 uh, solar generators. And it also comes with the uh, 200 watt solar saga solar panels that are absolutely uh, portable. These are designed where you can take them camping, hunting, fishing, uh, or like we're gonna do, we're gonna use it on this project. Uh, this uh, studio is gonna be completely solar powered and off grid. And uh, we're gonna put the flooring down in it today uh, using this 1000V. And then uh, once we get a bigger system, mm -hmm. we're gonna install a bigger system on uh, the studio also. But this is for to run the skill saw, to run the table saw, and to run our lights inside. So Dustin, tell us a little bit about this system and what all it does. So the uh, Jackery 1000 V2, it's got a uh, 1080 watt hour battery, a uh, 1500 watt output. It's got three front 120 watt outputs, well, 120 volt outputs. You've got a USB-A, two USB-Cs, and you've also got a 12 volt DC port for smaller plugins for uh, car accessories. You've also got a light built into the front with it. On this particular unit though, it's got two inputs. They're a, a DC8020 plug. It's a proprietary plug with Jackery. Um, it allows for a lot higher amperage coming into the system, so more efficient charging. It can be expanded to as much as 400 watts with this one, so you can actually charge pretty fast. And then it's also got like a, a quick charge mode with it that's pretty cool, that you can charge the full system in about an hour uh, from completely dead for an emergency. Yes, we've used these systems um, uh, a lot over the past few years and they're very handy to take out, especially when we're filming and we need to charge uh, batteries and gimbals and phones and different things like that. Now, this is the solar panel and we're going to hook this up. Now, in order to get some sun, wait, Dustin, get that. Very quick to set up. It has legs on the back uh, that set out that you can uh, lean it back. And they just kind of sit out like an easel, so it makes it really easy to, to set these up. You can set this up literally within about one minute, but from the time you pull it out of the back of your vehicle and set it up and get it going. Uh, so we could use, this has been charged on the 110. It's fully charged. We're gonna start using it here, putting the flooring down, uh, but we're also gonna run it to the solar panel. Unfortunately, we don't have an extension cable for the solar panel and you can get 30 foot extension cables for these so you can put it in different locations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the Jackery probably in the yard uh, when the sun comes out with the solar panels and then run an extension cord from the Jackery into the saw. So just depending right now, there's no sun much out, no need to put the solar panels out, but we're gonna get started, get this flooring down and it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna show you inside. You can see us uh, use the Jackery 1000 V2 today and it's gonna be exciting. Dustin's ready, you ready to get I into your ready. studio? I, I'm ready for it. We've been waiting and waiting, I'm, I'm ready to go. So we've got uh, the first thing is the flooring, then he's gonna wire it uh, for the solar and then also we're gonna do uh, insulation and then the wood siding on the inside. So it's gonna be a few week project. There'll be other videos coming up on the ongoing progress of the studio. But today we're premiering and talking about the Jackery 1000 V2. You ready to get going? Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is the Solar Saga 200 solar panel. It is a 200 watt panel that uh, you can get with your Jackery 1000 V2. These systems are designed where you can actually input up to 400 watts. So you can stack two of these uh, Jackery 200s or the Solar Saga 200s together for the Jackery and double your uh, input wattage for your charging. So we wanted to do a little bit more of a real world application. Not everybody's gonna be sitting and cutting flooring and stuff with it like we're doing today. So we went ahead, got it back to a 100% charge, 
plugged into the panels and connected a 200 watt fan. Uh, we took this fan, ran this fan for about an hour, and unfortunately we don't have a lot of solar at the moment. We're only down to about 11 watts, so we have absolutely minimal input. But the good thing is, is this fan ran for nearly an hour and only drew about 200 watts and reduced it by 12%. Um, I've seen a lot of systems and we, we've reviewed upon a few things. As far as a portable manageable system goes, this thing is amazing. All right guys, Dustin has just about completely got the floor in. And it's got a few more pieces to cut here, and then he'll be done. So we wanted to show you some of the things that we've been running on the Jackery today. One of them is this light up here. It started uh, running on the Jackery here just a little while ago as it got dark. And uh, Dustin's getting ready to get one more piece in down there. And then we're going to go out here and show you how we can cut it with the Jackery. All right, Dustin's gonna go out here and cut it. I'll film him. Okay, guys, we have the Jackery over here and we've been running the saw on it here today uh, because we have no electricity here. Everything in here is running off the uh, Jackery 1000 V2. So I'm gonna show you how well it cuts. He's got his board, next board to go in. We're gonna watch him put that in. And we're still at 83% power right now, but we've been running the solar panel on it today out in the yard. Hi, Angel. <laughs> She's been helping me today too. Yeah, she likes to uh, help when we're doing anything, basically. She likes to be a part of it. She does. All right, so this last wall is going to require having a pull bar of some sort. Now I have three of these pull bars because I put flooring down like this for probably 30 years or 35 years. But in some cases, you can use a crowbar if you don't have a pry bar. The pry bars keep it from getting damaged as bad. So, but we have to leave just a little bit of a gap. You're supposed to leave a quarter of an inch of gap all the way around. And that gap also gives you room to get in there to pull and lock these pieces in together. And you do have to be careful you can damage the boards. Now there's different qualities of uh, laminate flooring that you can find. Uh, Dustin went with an economy grade but some of it is 100% uh, plastic or PVC and uh, that's what I used inside. That'll hold up and go together a little bit better than it will on this type of uh, boards we got here which is basically a press board type of situation. But these last pieces right here can take longer to put in than four or five complete rolls just the fact they're trying to get it snapped together and as you can see right there you still got to look out he's working it a little bit at a time and we have been using a rubber hammer today but a metal hammer might work a little bit better so here we go he's got it in we got a little gap there like we need and a few more pieces and he'll have it That last corner piece is a little difficult. 
there she is that is the last piece and we put it down by cutting it with the jackery from november 5th to december 8th don't miss jackery's black friday and cyber monday sale enjoy up to 65 percent off the lowest prices of 2025. all right guys um the power's out and, and we didn't do it it's, it's not fake we didn't flip the breakers uh so we're gonna use the jackery because i really want some coffee and we got the jackery here we're gonna get it plugged up and turned on we're gonna put the uh, plug in here and then let me see i think there's a light on here too dustin do you know a little bit more i can't see it's dark i don't have my glasses on okay so we're at 99 percent we're gonna see what it takes to run this coffee pot and we're gonna turn this power on here for the ac there we go i want to see what it's going to pull to run this now everything's off but notice the refrigerator and my filter needs changed but the refrigerator is still working and my internet is still working because we have the jackery 5000 plus that, that's got the automatic switcher built in that we did a video on previously already so it keeps my refrigerator going it's plugged up and i don't have to worry about it but i'm going to unplug it and plug it in here and here's my coffee pot it's on and we're going to do the coffee first and we're going to see how many watts it takes because i really need my coffee or it's not going to be a good day we're outputting a coffee pot takes quite a bit of watts so here we go 1,352 watts, and this is uh, a 1,500 maximum output. Uh, the, this is the Jackery 1000V2, and this is the second review we've done on these, but we've been needing to finish this video, and it just happened to power one out. And I said, Dustin, grab the camera, let's show them some real life uses for the Jacker. This is not set up. As soon as I get the coffee pot done, I'm gonna unplug it, and then plug the refrigerator in. The 1000 will do one or the other at the same time, but to do both of them at the same time would put too much on it. So as soon as I get me some coffee made here, let me dig in here for my favorite coffee cup. Well, it must be dirty, so we'll just go with a paper cup. And, and also, there's a light on here. We didn't talk about that. Let's see if this is how you turn the light on here. Oh, there we go. Now we got a little bit of light in here. Let's see a little bit better. Got my coffee pot in. Let's get a little light on here so we can see this coffee brewing. Here we go. My coffee pot's always this slow. If you got one of these jerks, you know, even though it's, it's ready to go, it's got to think about it for a minute. Let's see what watch we're pulling here. Uh, we're 420, 400. It's already heated all the way up, so the watts, the burner has dropped, so we're not really pulling many watts. Now it's kicked back in, it knows the water's getting a little cold that some of it's been used. Check this out. Coffee in the dark when the power's out on a rainy day. My Jackery is the best friend a guy can have if he loves coffee like me when the power goes out. But uh, the coffee's about done. We're gonna unplug the coffee maker and I'm gonna be pulling the refrigerator back out just a little bit. I should be able to reach the plug right back here. Okay. Let me see if I can reach back here to get it. Yes. Oh. Just went down. No power. I got my fresh cup of coffee right here. I'm going to get some creamer. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to move the jacket just a little bit closer. This is a massive refrigerator. We've never done this. This might be a complete fail, but we're going to try it. Oh, it's powering back up, family hub. Okay, it's pulling 152 watts. This might stay about this stable right here. Does that sound about right, Dustin, on the watts? For this size refrigerator. So tell them with a, the amp hour of this battery and these watts, how long can we run this refrigerator? It's running at 200 watts an hour. It's a 1,080 watt hour battery. This size refrigerator at that draw, Probably about eight hours. About eight hours, all right. 
Well, guys, look at this. We're back up and running, and uh, my my internet should I have internet on here, and it should come up too because of the the Jackery 5000. We've got my internet and security system, and this, regardless of the power goes down, we can still uh, run those things. I actually could run a lot more on the 5000. We just didn't get them all wired up. But uh, yeah, back to the what this video is about. I love my Jackeries, and this morning. I'm able to get me some coffee without having to wait for the power to come back on. And uh, guys, if you want to learn more about the Jackery, we have a link in the description below. Uh, there might be a coupon code there. I'm not for sure as this time of making the video, but look down there, click on that code. That's our affiliate link. If you buy anything from Jackery, you'll uh, help the channel and pay no more. We'll get a small affiliate commission, I think. Anyways, whether we do or not, it doesn't matter. But uh, I love Jackery. Make sure to uh, check them out on all their products, but make sure to click on that link in the description or the first comment. I'm John Ward. We'll see you on the next review video. The Jackery 1000B2 is our go-to power hub, keeping families connected at home and outdoors.